All right, I got two puns for you guys today. All right, and both these puns are about the country of Greece. Okay, so I'm going to show you both puns, and then uh, and then I'll explain why they're funny. Okay, so take a look at the first one. <laughs> the first one, uh, the, there's a dog that says, Why don't people in Athens wake up early? Why don't people in Athens wake up early? Because dawn is tough on Greece. <laughs> dawn is tough on Greece. Do you get it? Okay, so uh, now I'm going to read you the second one. And then, uh, and then I'll explain both of them after that. Okay, so the second one is this. Uh, the dog says to the baby, Did you know that the first French fry wasn't cooked in France? And the baby says, Where was it cooked then? In Greece. <laughs> I love the look on the dog's face. Okay, so uh, the French fry was cooked in Greece. Okay, now both of these uh, are funny because the word Greece in English is another word for oil, for thick oil, you know, especially after you cook it. Um, you know, like if you, if, uh, okay, well, well, we use the word grease for both oil that has been cooked and for car oil or oil that you use on like machinery, like your car. You know, if you're working on your car um, and you're, you know, like a mechanic, if you see a mechanic's hands, mechanic's hands are just black right? They're covered in grease, right? Or if you cook food with a lot of oil, you know, after, after you eat, you're going to need to wash the dishes. And it's sort of hard to wash those dishes because they're just, they're just full of grease. They're covered in grease, right? So that kind of thick oil after it has been used either through a car, after it's been through your car engine for a few months, or after it's you know been through your cooking, it turns into grease. Okay, so so oil is, you know, it's nice and clean looking, and then grease is usually usually cloudy. We could describe that as like kind of thick and cloudy. Okay, so that is grease. So so and they're pronounced exactly the same. The country grease and the, the word grease, oil right? Except the spelling is different. Okay, so pay attention to the spelling. Uh, the country is spelled with a C and the oil is spelled with an S and an A. Okay, so they, they sound exactly the same, but they're spelled differently. Now, in the first joke, why don't people in Athens wake up early? Because dawn is tough on Greece. Okay, do you know what dawn means? Dawn is another word for morning. Okay, so when the sun rises in the morning, that is dawn. Dawn, that period of time when it's, it's dark, but then it turns into light. You know, the period just before sunrise and during sunrise, that's called dawn. Okay, the opposite of dawn is dusk. Okay, so when the sun is setting in the evening, you know, photography, uh, photographers call that the golden hour. The golden hour when the sun is really low, maybe just after it's set or just before it's set, you know, the light is really soft. It's nice. It's not harsh. Like if the light is coming from the top, then it casts all kinds of harsh shadows on your face. But if the sun is like, you know, on the horizon, then it just it just makes your skin glow. It's really nice. So photographers, photographers call dusk golden hour. Okay, so just remember that dawn is when the sun comes up and dusk is when the sun goes down. Now, dawn is uh, the most common brand, I think, of dish soap. Okay, so if you wash your dishes, look right now at your sink, at your, your kitchen sink. What kind, of, what, what kind of dish soap do you have? What brand is it? You know, I bet for a lot of you, you have dawn dish soap by your your sink you wash dishes with dawn now why do you do that because it, it might say i think it might say on the label uh tough on grease tough on grease that means uh, that means it's uh it's 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 good to get grease off you know it's sort of it, it doesn't melt the grease it dissolves what's the right word what does dish soap do to grease does it dissolve the I don't know the right word. Melt? No, it's not melt. It doesn't dissolve. I think the, the best way to say it is it's just it's tough on grease. Okay, so dish soap is, is tough on grease. So dawn, 
Don is tough on Greece. Okay, so that has two meanings. That phrase has two meanings. It could mean mourning is tough. It's like mourning is hard for Greek people, right? Remember the first part of the joke? Why don't people in Athens wake up early? Well, it's hard for them. It's hard for them to wake up early. Don, the, the, the dish soap, is tough on Greece. <laughs> so, so that's the joke. You know, it's not... The joke isn't saying anything about the people in in Athens. It's not saying anything about Greek people that Greek people have a hard time waking up early. the The joke is the is that it's the the pun is that the, the about the dish soap, right? It can have two meanings. So it's it's using the meaning for the dish soap and bringing it over to the to the people of or to the morning time in Greece. Okay, so so that's the joke. Don Don has two meanings. Greece has two meanings. Uh, now let's take a look at the second one. Uh, you know, the dog says, "Did you know that the first French fry wasn't cooked in France?" You know, French. Most people think French fry, French, French, right? French fries must be French. And uh, the baby says, "Well, where was it cooked then?" And the dog says, "In <laughs> Greece." Okay, so again, it's uh, it's a play on words. A play on words is, is another way to say a pun, okay? So it's, uh, we're, we're playing with the word Greece, right? Greece could be the country or it could be the oil, right? If you take a look at a, I mean, I don't know, do, would we say French fries are cooked in Greece or oil? I don't know, deep, usually French fries are deep fried in oil, Right, but but everybody would understand that that I think you could call that grease, right? Like actually, I worked in a restaurant. I have made, you know, I've I've cooked, uh, deep fried thousands and thousands of batches of French fries in my life. So I know, the oil the oil turns like sort of black, you know, in a restaurant. If you cook like a million batches of French fries in the deep fryer, it's gonna turn the oil is gonna turn to grease. Okay, so so this it, it works perfectly, right? Um, you know, the French fries were cooked in first. Remember, look, read what, uh, what the dog says. It says, did you know that, that the first French fry wasn't cooked in France? <laughs> the first French fry was cooked in, uh, in Greece. So there's, there's your two jokes for today, guys. Uh, uh, two puns about the country of Greece. Now you know, you know what the other meaning of Greece is. Next time you're washing dishes and, uh, your hands are greasy or or you're using dawn dish uh, soap dish detergent I don't know what's what I think for uh if if we use soap in a dishwasher or in a in in a washing machine for like doing laundry washing your clothes then we use the word detergent uh but if you're washing dishes by hand I think it's more common to say dish soap okay you I think you you could say dish detergent too dish soap detergent is just another word for soap so anyway so those are your two uh two two jokes for today hope you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you are hey if you're in greece a special a special uh, greeting to you i hope dawn isn't tough on you today wake up bright and early the early bird gets the worm that's what we say in english right if you wake up early wake up at the crack of dawn and you know get working and you know, then then you're going to be successful. The early bird gets the worm. So ha happy, uh, what day is it? Almost Easter. Happy Easter to all my wonderful subscribers in Greece. If you're in Greece, smash the like button right down there. And even if you're not in Greece, I guess you might want to smash that like button if you want to see more episodes here at Mad English TV, if you want more jokes. Um, but until then, uh, it's great to be back with you guys after my... Uh, few days off and um, I'll be seeing you very shortly for many more episodes here at Mad English TV. So have a great day and I'll see you later. Take care.